Hello from Prague and today we're going to share with you everything you can see, do and eat in one day. So let's get going. We're James and Alex. For the past couple of weeks, we have been traveling through Central Europe, ticking off new cities and countries, exploring everything there is to see, do, and eat. Oh, look at that. Like as well. <laughs> so far, we have ticked off Budapest, Bratislava, and the next city on our list is Prague in the Czech Republic. There are no direct flights to Prague from Bratislava, so the easiest mode of transport is definitely by train from Hlavna Station. For just 24 euros per person, you can grab a train across country and you are there within four and a half hours. Okay, we have just made it to Prague. Can you go that way? Go on. <laughs> the next day. We had the best night's sleep last night. We are up early and we are ready to go and explore Prague this morning. We have a whole day ahead with an epic itinerary, but our first stop is none other than Prague Castle. Please do not leave garbage bags in the hallway. Of course. We were not prepared for this amount of steps. It's actually surprisingly not even that cold today as well, so maybe stripping off a layer or two when we get to the top. We finally made it to the top of the stairs, but it was worth it because the views at the top are pretty magical. So the entrance into the grounds were completely free. What we're surprised about was we were expecting it just to be a castle grounds. There's like a mini little town up here, so we're gonna go and take a little bit of a wander around and see what else there is to see. It's very Harry Potter-esque. We always time it right when the bells go off at the church. <laughs> found the prettiest building we have ever seen in our lives. So we've just realized that this is actually St. Vita's <laughs> Cathedral. Now that sits inside the actual grounds of Prague Castle. We were expecting to see like a big castle but essentially we're in the castle, we're in the grounds of the castle. The whole outer wall of this area is essentially the castle. So Prague Castle is not only a UNESCO World Heritage Site, it has the largest castle grounds in the entire world. It was actually founded in 1880 and the architecture inside is just absolutely amazing. You can honestly spend the whole day here exploring all of the little alleyways and streets. But sadly for us, we are on a time budget so we have to get going and explore the rest of Prague. And make sure you get here nice and early because if you leave it too late, the queue will be huge. So guys, we've made it to Lennon Wall. Now, this wall was actually put up around the 1980s to pay homage to John Lennon himself. And there was a lot of graffiti-inspired John Lennon-esque artwork. But since then, it's kind of evolved over time. You can even add to it yourself if you have your own little pens or Sharpies or whatever you want to bring with you. But ultimately, it's just a nice piece of, essentially a mural for John Lennon and I guess what he stood for. Now, we're gonna go see one of the most famous spots in Prague. Charles Bridge. All right guys, we've made it to Charles Bridge, but it looks like everybody else has as well. <laughs> <laughs> so the Charles Bridge was actually built in the 13th century. And it took almost 50 years to finish it. Now, the statues you see either side, they were actually added in the 17th century. And rumor has it, if you touch their feet, it brings you some good luck. Worth a try, right? Worth a try. Another big tip is if you can avoid visiting on the weekend, do, because it is crazy busy. I think I need here. <laughs> we definitely handle these situations better when we are slightly inebriated. <laughs> wow, you <laughs> Definitely. That's probably the biggest sausage you've ever had. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a bite on the top there. Mm. As your first Prague sausage experience. <laughs> Good. So they put a layer of ketchup and mustard underneath. And I think this is pickled cabbage, fried onions, some cucumber, and obviously the sausage. 
It's really good, but it's hard to eat <laughs> and very messy. You're right, this is like near impossible to eat. There's like a chorizo-esque to it. There's kind of so many different flavours in there actually. It's got like a nice peppery taste. Pretty good. Okay, so out of the three Christmas markets that we've visited in Europe so far, Prague is without a doubt the busiest. There are so many people here, we are like shocked. But perhaps it's because it's midday and everyone was just queuing to film the clock tower strike midday. So perhaps as the afternoon goes on it might get a bit quieter, but we'll see. So there's a few places to point out in the Old Town Square. There's the astronomical clock tower that Alex has already pointed out, the Golzkinski Palace, which I believe is now the National Gallery, and we have the Church of Our Lady as well, which is right behind me. And legend has it that inspired Walt Disney for the castle in Sleeping Beauty. And this is the Powder Tower. And I believe we have to enter <laughs> through these stairs here. <laughs> oh. oh, this kind of gives me a bit of anxiety. I don't like it. There's like another section, it's like a crooked staircase. At least the stairs look wider here. Oh, they, they actually, okay, this isn't as bad. I can deal with this, this is absolutely fine. Just think, once we get to the top, we'll have the most amazing views of Prague. It'll be worth it. We made it to the top. So cool! I didn't expect it to be like properly open. I don't mind this bit. <laughs> Going round to the old town square. Whoa! That is epic. That is actually stunning. I think this is possibly even better than climbing Charles Tower because you get such an incredible perspective over like the whole city. Amazing. So hundreds of years ago, there used to be 13 entrances into the old town in Prague and the Powder Tower, which was then called the New Tower, was one of them. The beer museum should be just here. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Ooh. The Prague Beer Museum. Looks pretty quiet, which is probably a good thing for us. First, here's Klaster, Lager, Demon Ember Lager, Flaky Bastard IPA, Porter Dark Beer, and the Pilsen. So, now that we've had some beer, we're gonna go get some food. So we had researched this place before coming here as apparently it's got some of the best places to try local food. It's really deceiving because from the front it looks so small but as soon as you go in it is huge, like it goes so far back. We were given beer straight away, we had to write our name down because it's so busy to get a table but to be honest we were seated within like five minutes so I'm overwhelmed, I don't know what to pick. This is awesome. <laughs> So we've tried beef goulash in Budapest. We've been recommended to definitely try the beef goulash here because it's a lot thicker and it's a bit more like a stew. And I can see even from looking at it that it definitely looks a lot bigger. So I'm super excited to try that. And then we also went for the fried cheese, which was starred on the menu as like a must try. So of course we had to try that. I guess there's nothing left to do other than try the food. Oh my God. <laughs> Now, I haven't tried the goulash yet, but I'm going in. So we've got these dumplings. Oh yeah, it's thick. Oh. The beef is really tender, like, almost like melts away. So many dumplings. So for two big main meals and two very big beers, that came to 20 pounds, which is about 25 US dollars, which we think 
it's a pretty good deal. So now that we're super full, we're gonna take a bit of a walk and make the most of this light because in about an hour, it's gonna be sunset and we're gonna be heading to the Christmas markets. Where's that ginger hair gone? Oh, it's there. <laughs> yeah. Is it ginger or is it? I think it might be white. Oh, you got, got it. it. Oh, oh. Got it. You got the wrong one. No, that is it. It's ginger. Is it? Yeah. Oh, get Don't off me! It on my face. <laughs> See, it's ginger. The coffee's got way better. Go to bagel. Go, what was it? <laughs> Go to bagel. Get to bagel. They're so gothic. They're so dark. Is that, brilliant. You're dietary <laughs> much here. When are you have it, your hat on. Little <laughs> bit. So, another rip. <laughs> Is that your purse on there? Stop it. <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> there was a wall there. Not just in Europe, but in the. In the world! Old, and you have the Our Lady of Church. Church of Our Lady. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> 